What's up guys, it's your favorite wig reviewer back with another video and we got this nice and spicy unit. This is how she came fresh out the box, super bouncy even though the hair is colored and I just wanted to show you how the texture was when it came out because I really didn't want to manipulate it that much. So this wig is from Unice Hair and she comes with all of these goodies. It did also send me this wig. It's attached to a baseball cap. And I feel like this is a really good wig for something super quick. Say you want to just run to the store real quick and your hair ain't done, girl. Just throw this on and baby, you can, you know what I'm saying? It's a vibe. So this is a 13 by 4 lace front wig. She's 180% density, 24 inches, inches, and she is like this auburn color. Super pretty and super, it's giving very much fall. Like I've never done this color before. And as, if you look closely, you can see that in the roots, it's kind of like a different color at the tips. I can't really explain it, but it's kind of more orangey on the tips and it's really, really, really pretty. It blended in with my skin tone really good and I got a lot of compliments on her. So I was going for like an old Hollywood kind of vibe. So I was really happy that it, the wig already came with these curls in her because I can just really manipulate her to be what I want. And this style is really popular. I see Megan Thee Stallion with it and a whole bunch of other Instagram models. So I definitely had to try. After applying a thin layer of the Got To Be Gel, I'm just gonna melt this wig. I do this with certain wigs, certain type of laces. I don't think this is HD lace, but I just put it on the hairline just so it can melt a little bit more um and i'm gonna tie this scarf on after that i'm gonna take her off and then i'm gonna begin to prep the hairline for the baby hairs i didn't really do too much because i feel like old hollywood hairstyles don't have that you know, have the baby hairs in the front. So I just wanted it to make it really sleek and clean. And to blend in my wig cap a little bit better, I'm going to take some foundation. You can also use concealer just so it could be a seamless part. And after that, I'm going to begin to style. I did pre-pluck the wig before I installed her. That's why the side part is already in the wig. And now I'm just going to kind of mold the hair to where I want it to be. Um, hairspray is gonna be essential for one of these kind of styles if you want it to last. But just feel free to use whatever you have.
as you can see the wig does already come with come with big curls in her but i'm going to use the wand just to define a little bit more in the front where it was frizzy and i feel like this wand matched these curls perfectly And after I got all of that in order, the style was complete. I added this red lip to give it an old Hollywood feel, and I think it came out great. So if you did want to try this wig or in the, and this color out, everything on her is going to be in the description box down below. Thank you so much to You Nice Hair for working with me, and I'll see you in my next video.